I have to allow myself to be uh, vulnerable. Even the worst painting that you've ever seen, it made that artist happy. You know, or maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Does it matter? I wouldn't say I'm moody, but, you know, other people might say I am. I mean, growing up, I was always, I was never a morning person. I was a Good grouch. I was grumpy, you know. I'm still not a morning person. And maybe that's one thing about teaching you have to get used to is early mornings and being able to interact with kids early in the morning. But, and, you know, I teach school. That's, that's what I do for a living. I'll always teach in some kind of shape or fashion. Okay, I see some of y'all talking more than you're working. I told you I give you the privilege of talking because I need you to be able to communicate your ideas with people around you, okay? Yeah, the basic location of everything. That's why I try and compare it to like a map because you know you want to look at where things are in relation to one another. If his head's this size, you know you've got to think about things in relationship to shape and size and where they're at. So obviously you're going to want this guitar to be bigger than the head. You've got to think about things in relationship to shape and size. Okay? Okay? We'll go ahead and get started. When kids ask all the time, they say, you know, Mr. Young, can I look at your sketchbooks? And I don't want them to see them. You know, I'll show you my final artwork, but there's things in here that it's like somebody taking your journal. I don't go explain every painting, you know. Those are expressions. Those are those are therapeutic. Those are, are a part of me and you know, it's it's like a hug, it's like a kiss, you know. It is an expression, it's it's a way to show things. And the painting is, it shows my anger, it shows my happiness. I could show you paintings where I was happy, mad, what I was dealing with, that I couldn't tell anybody else about them, you know. But people say, when people come in this, in my shop or my studio, uh, they might walk out of here and think, oh, that guy's crazy, that guy's, um, you know, I don't like his work. And that's fine, they don't have to like my work. It's still who I am. You know, I prefer natural light, but, you know, it's also kind of nice in here. It's kind of like a little cave in a sense, you know. It's uh, no windows, you know, all you have is just very dim lit light. Uh, it kind of sets my, my tone, of, you know, just the way I think and the way I, you know, I am. Even in my artwork, if it's not something that's dark in subject matter, it's very moody. And to me, that's just as dark as the most grotesque, vulgar, repulsive painting. And I love art like that. As you go riding through the Delta and you see a field after the harvest, it's, it's as much a sign of death, but you know there's a sign of rebirth. When whether I want to admit it or not, my artwork has symbolism. Um, a cross and the Delta Crucifix, the, the, the cross is a symbol of um, death. A tornado is just the opposite. It is destruction. It's, um, these are all facts of life, uh, whether we like them or not. On a pretty day, you look up at the sky and it's solid blue. It's boring. You know, there's there's so many more times that the sky's more beautiful, and 
You know, but those are the times that kind of scare us. There's nothing more beautiful than a, a, a storm cloud. And actions speak louder than words, right? You throwing that piece of paper away and wasting it tells me that you don't care. You don't have to tell me verbally that you don't care. If your parents, every day you walk out that door, they never tell you you love them, or they never tell you that they love you, okay? You know, sometimes they show you, right? They show you that they love you and they care about you. They don't have to just say it. The things they do for you when they feed you at night says they care. And when teachers come up here to teach you, they care. probably go insane if I didn't have a sketchbook and constantly drawing or, or writing or some you know some kind of form of, of expression yeah I, yeah definitely I'd lose it <laughs> um, you know some different people self-medicate in different ways this is how I deal with it you know Sometimes you just, you're constantly searching. You're creating something in hopes that you'll come out with something positive to make things better. Sometimes, you know, you end up making things worse. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, you know.